Welcome to this series where we are playing the 7.6 update for Father's Frontier. In the last part, we got our town hall up to tier four, and that's the highest level that we can attain at this point in the game. And what I want to do in this part is just spend a little bit of time enjoying the economy because we have to accept that this series is coming to an end and also see if we can level up the some tier four buildings because like we've got the barn here is uh, can be leveled up so i'd like to level that up and also i'd like to as suggested in the comments is work a little bit on this area of the town because well we've got space here maybe to put in a well, a few bits and pieces and other areas and just to try and make this into what you could call our middle and upper class area and then our little area down here can be just a developing area um here at the moment we're leveling up this uh uh town center so i think what we'll do is we'll just prioritize that so that we can get everything we need into there and the jolly old rats are back again uh I, I did get a comment about the fact that there was no changes to rats in the update but i definitely get a feeling that something a little bit different is but you can see they don't seem to stay very long so it's almost like the game is saying oh um there's rats in this area it needs to be covered and then just take it away got a sh little shrine there um this needs iron uh, maybe we'll upgrade this the shrine as well just to get that going so this is what very much the focus of this part's going to be is uh just uh trying to get the town to grow but um grow more by upgrading than by building new buildings because when we've got a population of 416 i'm quite happy with that and let's see we've uh, got rats in here now also because we're in winter i'm getting a little bit of uh stutter because the the economy is getting a little bit bigger you, you just go over and deal with those rats in my storehouse there yeah. oh we've got our compost bin here um you've got 93 okay we'll just put that in there one thing i have noticed is that quite often you you will get things like the compost bins will uh, uh suddenly appear to be full oh we can up we upgrade here okay we can upgrade this let's upgrade our barracks i know it's probably going to throw the regime out a little bit but nope so we've got a compost bin here uh look the fertility is not quite so good up here of course we got crops but we got 25 months of food at the moment so we've got a nice stable or we could almost say self-sufficient economy at the moment um i keep coming back to this area the desirability um i'm not sure i think uh it was suggested that i need to get some other buildings in here we've got a market stall there and i think we've got a healer in here we've got the healer here um oh, that's the apothecary um where's we got here's the hospital um we put another healer in down here we got not like we're short of cash um got a theater what else we got here off the carry we got pubs uh we got the school um and we put we got a school up there we've put a school in down here haven't we that's the market square I'm sure I put a school in down here yeah and we've got the healer yes yeah, so we've got a school and a healer um we've got the brick root cellar that's full up <laughs> um so we've got all our main immunity building buildings in here we could put a theater in but um got a healer got the rat catchers but uh, we haven't got an apothecary um let's see i'm not sure if the apothecary will probably put a whoops 
that'll make everyone feel a bit healthier won't it if we put another we could put another apothecary in there but i think we'll just hold off on the apothecary see because this is the thing you we've got a hospital here but of course it only treats one pa or healer it only treats one patient at a time so just going to get that going i don't think we can just, i'm just looking around to see what we can level up um maybe we'll put a bit of decor in here we got we put a large statue up here how much did that it kind of raised the general tone of the area didn't it and um, what else have we got here a large park probably couldn't but we'd have to put it outside wouldn't we um because we could put a large park just outside here that would have a fairly large impact on this area um yeah what we're going to do is there's no nothing that says the park has to be inside the city boundary so that's going to cost us 25 yeah i mean that park is probably pretty good because we got stone and gold we seem to have thick got on top of the repair um situation but at the same time that could be due to the fact that uh i'm not actually building that much i'm kind of being quite restrained at the moment uh, i think maybe we can put in some kind of monument down here or we'll park here actually couldn't we the parks themselves don't yeah no, let's just put a park in this corner here and we offer resources food oops um, it's like we've got a I don't know the, the trader seems to come quite early in the year um, that's what we got here what's the trader looking for he's after iron ore well we haven't got any iron ore no, I've stopped trading shoes I need to check to see whether I've still got them we can we can sell some candles got beer above average sell some beer not that we need the gold i mean we've, we've got a pretty stable economy um i wouldn't like wouldn't mind some crossbows but obviously they're not interested in selling us we don't really need anything from the trader I'll let the game run oh one thing i do need to check um harvest resources yeah <laughs> now we are upgrading the smithy here um and can we upgrade this yes we can i think we'll upgrade the blacksmith as well so i'm interested to see what we'd get if we actually get that upgraded right we've got a second tr trader he wants to sell us beans and you pay up above the odds for baskets so we're selling some baskets uh yeah sell above the the odds for coats uh, give us a little bit more money and got some linen fabric let me just have a look at what we got I mean we got a good range we got one sword we got hide coats got we're very sh a little bit short on shoes um let me just it's that cleanliness again the soap um we should we're short of soap what's going on i thought i had two soap makers um okay let me just it's, they seem to go through a lot of soap Unless we got uh, what? What do we need? We need herbs. Look at this. Check the herb situation. Um, got fifteen herbs. Maybe we need to look for some herbs just to get that going. So let me just press F four. We got here. 
It might be the fact that we just don't have the herbies. That's the hunter's lodge. We've got a forager's shack here. Let's just move you around a bit. You've got berries, eggs, willow. No willow there. Kind of getting a bit more of a range out here, so I think we'll push you out like that. We need herb, um, herbs. Oh, we've got some herbs over here. Nobody wants to stay in my temporary shelter, though. <laughs> it looks very much like we've cut all the trees down here. So we're going to need to push you out a bit further. I like the idea we got some herbs down here, so what I'm going to do is um, put a forager. So we got a forager there, actually. You're picking up nuts, but if I move you, I think we're, we've got a few herbs from here. So I think it'd be quite good to actually have an overlapping forager let me put you out there and then you can kind of pick up and cover this area here um no thank you i'm not looking to expand my population how are we doing over here Got the rat population again. I think we're, we're just going to need more. I think we get, keep getting rats appearing here. So again, we we got the money. So um, get the rat catcher just on this corner here. He's see that rat disappeared on his own. So I got a feeling you get kind of get an infestation effect, and then it disappears relatively quickly and we've got this area here um, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing is actually upgrading wells um, we'll just upgrade that well what do we need here right we need 150 planks or do that iron or um you've got the bricks so I'm gonna prioritize you uh, how are we offer iron we've got our little armor here producing shields so we got any shields yep yeah, we got four shields which just disappeared. Actually got quite a lot of um, hull bucks as well. Um, are we getting soap now? We're getting some soap as well. We've got piles of beer. Getting heavy. It's... it's Going okay. Um, just... Yeah, we need we need planks. We've got plenty of wood. Villager attacked by a predator. Wait, where's the predator? Okay, he's killing a few of my. Yeah, he's pretty tough. He's certainly been a bit aggressive, hasn't he? Villager is feeling worse. Makes me wonder whether we want we need a tower out here just to defend this area against uh, predators. Actually, I think I will do that. Um, fences. 
Uh, let's put a, a tower here. So the job of this tower would be just simply to if we get into an incident like that. I mean, I could close the wall off. Um, yeah. But we'd have to put a gate in. Although no one's walking through here, isn't it? Because they can come up through there. So we could put a a wall here. That will stop any. Not that we're getting anyone wandering in from this side. Another thing I'm a little bit curious about. We got out here, greens, or thorns, or thorns. I mean, I really would like to get right out to the edge of the map, but uh, yeah, let me just see. Well, we're probably going to kill a few, but the edge of the map is about there. Look, see what the edge of the map looks like. Just get an idea of how big the map actually is. Um, can we? So a lot of our actual other buildings in here aren't we've got the Fletcher working on that. He's working on crossbows. How many bows and um have a look. We've got 113 bows. I think what we might do is reduce the number of bows and see if we can make some more arrows um crossbows i think 113 bows is probably enough to be going on with them oops we've lost uh that's because i killed the um i think we're let's get a bit more clay coming in because let me just see Raw materials. Yeah, we've only got 27 clay. We, we need to keep the clay going to keep our brick manufacturer and that going. Right, so we've now got this area built here. Um, what do you need to... You need 65% to go up, go up. So what can we do to get you above 65%? Um... Yeah, I'm just going to prioritise that well. I can't remember actually improving the well. That might help. What can we do to... Um, <laughs> decoration. Now that gives us 67%. Um, okay, what we'll do is we'll put a, a little statue just in here. Um, we need, then we need... Some, that will... Kind of level up this area. We need some iron. Oh, this is, we got our new boundary. It means we can get a couple of people in here. Problem is, is do we have the raw iron? Iron ore. Probably need more people in the iron mine. There it is. That's. Where's the iron mine? We've got six people producing that. I'm wondering whether we can get a, another iron mine out here just to get things going. If we put it, I think we'll just put an iron mine there and do the dirt road. It's like put the dirt road in there as well. We need the planks. We need we need extra production. I mean we've got plenty of ordinary logs. 
We've got that saw pit is full. We've got the the bigger saw pit here cutting up as well. Actually, how, how are we doing for furniture? Um, have a look at our people situation. I think we're good. Uh, we need a, an extra forager. In, we've got this shortage of farmers, but at the same time, yeah, we're short on labourers now. But maybe we need to drop that back down. It does look like we may need some extra population. <laughs> Question is where. And uh, we've got a little bit of a space here uh, for housing. Put you right bang in the middle there. I say this is the, the poor area of town. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the game run and so we can build up some planks so that we could. So I definitely want to upgrade the, the barn here. Because I want to see what, what we get for having that upgraded. Um, we've now got the blacksmith. So what do we get for the blacksmith? We got the um, heavy weapons, swords. I think what we'll do is we'll drop that down. We don't need two of those. But we probably just see. We've got 11 heavy tools at the moment. So we can kind of drop that down. Building storage is full. Right. We need more storage. <laughs> Where would we store heavy tools? Um, we need carriers, is it? Because this isn't completely... Um, you have the blacksmith. Where's... Looks almost like what we need to do is upgrade this. And um, that's going to take bricks. Okay, we have to upgrade you. So we've got a nice little well here. And this is the upgraded well. Terrain bonus 63% penalty. You get a penalty for having another well nearby, do we? I can hear somebody making noises. Yearly taxes, 114. Got the ratty population. I think the rats do come from the fact that the building is full. Um, we probably could do another grain silo here. Storage. Again, it's planks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to pause you. I've just noticed that I want that those 150 planks. So we're just going to... Okay, we've got a new... If you're selling planks, I'm going to buy them. Um, why have we got... Seven swords in the trading post. Okay, can we sell swords? What we we get for wow? Okay, we're gonna sell um, swords. We've got some furniture as well. We'll sell that. To make that much money from it, got all glass that's above average. We'll sell that. We got 206 cheese below average, but we got loads of them, so that's gonna give us a nice sell.
I mean, swords aren't worth that much. Um, I'm just going to cancel that. I think we're going to send the, all the swords back to the... Put you back in global storage. And what can we buy? Right. What I'm going to do is it's going to be expensive, but it's going to push my program forward. Um, we're going to buy and transfer the iron. Is what that would mean is that we should be able to kind of push forward with a few bits and pieces. And um, what's this here? This is a firewood splitter. Um, just gonna see if we can get the iron into here <clears throat> to get this medium statue built. Okay, we got another trade, a second trader number two come in. Um, well, sell the pottery. No, okay, nothing else. I do like the high level buildings. Right, we're just going to let the game run. Um, let me help things go. What, what are we upgrading here? Oh, we've got an altar build site here. Right, we'll just get that large park built. And then we'll see if we can get our little community going here. Any anything else we got problems with? Ballpox. What we could do, actually, yeah, I think somebody did mention this in the comments. Is we can put the pub down here, can't we? Oh wow. Um, Tina's house. Uh, Kind of almost like the people up here have found no I think we'll put the pup down here but I am going to suspend it to begin with because I, I want those hundred and haha <laughs> uh, okay we've got raiders where they're coming from coming from the south got 66 of them we got weakness on this corner which I hadn't noticed but we do have this got overlocking towers there so okay we got our battering ram I just built that tower. I didn't don't appreciate that. Soldiers Does this actually take damage? Oops, the fortified wall. Ah, I can't see if this guy's actually taking damage. Hey, you're meant to be attacking the tower right we got we got them ha <laughs> ha if 
Komm. We got them there. Got them here. They've broken through this wall. Anybody else attacking? I think we won. Return to barracks. That was my first attack with a battery ram. I've heard about them, but that was the first time it actually happened. Obviously, you need soldiers. The towers aren't going to hack it with respect to uh, uh, taking down the battering ram. You certainly need soldiers to do that. So, And I'm a bit worried about this corner. Um, I think instead of putting the tower where I put it out in the middle of nowhere, I think we need a tower just on this corner. Because they've let the wildlife in. I think what I should have done with this field is completely enclosed it. Of course they... It was raided. Um, we... 67, we killed 33 of them, lost two villagers, built an 11 buildings. But of course most of those buildings were the... Uh, what we call it, were the sections of wall and stuff like that, because they all count as buildings. But I think overall, that was not too bad. Um, I'm going to put the compost on, spread it, spread the favors around, make sure we've got the other compost bin is. 90 99% wow um this looks very much like a benefit of uh if you're actually lots and lots of warnings rats all sorts of stuff across the archive let's just have a look at what we got it should be a, in some ways what you could do, really need to do is re-equip your re-equip troops with um, various bits and pieces well we probably need a, a few more arrows um, because of course we now get less arrows for whatever we're doing um, right let's have a look around and see what we're building We've now got this area here. So what's the desirability in this area? We've got a nice desirability here. Um, I, don't, I, I want those um, planks for the, the uh, what we call it, or the barn. I, I definitely want to try and upgrade the barn. This area is spreading 92% desirability as well. 70% uh, I don't really feel that I need this barracks to be honest uh, I think because we've got the big barracks here and we got I mean we could have a complete army in here if we wanted it yeah we got somebody wounded um, we've lost a hunter. Oops. 
I've just got absolutely no idea what I've just done, but <laughs> I think I've just kind of clicked a thing that says, show me what everybody's doing. We can follow everybody around. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Only question is, I don't know how to get out of it. Oh, I can see me spending a lot, a bit of time doing this because this is one of the things that I didn't really understand was the fact that what people were doing, what was being moved around. You're stocking the boundary. So you're quite a long way away from home. Great. Right, I've finally managed to clear those tags and I think it's tied in with F4. I think once I change the F4 key, it seemed to have cleared those extra tags. <laughs> and we're back in winter. we still got a food supply. Right. What I'm going to do, guys, is I, I really want to upgrade this um, barn. And we need 150-odd um, planks. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the game run. And but we've got a fire. Where's that? Yeah, on a homestead, it's all been put out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the game run and let the number of sub planks build up so we can do that. And I'll be right back. And we actually need that rebuilt, the fortified gate. And they obviously broke through this entrance here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play through until we've got enough planks and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I'm not having much luck with trying to get the number of planks for the barn upgrade, but I've just had a first. I've actually got three traders arrive. Um, so I've already traded with two. And we've uh, got another one. Um, that's below average. I'm not going to give you that. Um, got some plate mail. Um, 900 and thing above average. Got some below wham our price heavy weapons. Uh, provide four of those to get the trade going. Yeah, so that's the first. Is actually having three traders. I'm assuming this is the consequence of upgrading this building here. That the fact we've now got three traders in here. It's just a shame none of them want to trade me any um, uh, planks. We have got the second, another iron mine coming in. So what that is doing is getting us a little bit more iron ore. You can see we are building up some iron. But the moment the thing that kind of eludes me is the planks. We are losing a little bit in the way of uh, logs. Um, we Okay, we lost a hunter out here, which I wasn't aware of. Um, see where the. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll bring the work camp back closer to home. We've got some trees in this area. Actually, harvest wise, what's Donna clear? Um, probably hot. I'll have some trees out here. Maybe these have grown up a bit, so we'll pick some trees around here as well. Uh, and not much going on here, but we could get them to harvest the rock stone from there. My stone is dropping a little bit. Actually, and the other thing I want to show you is this is the expedition that we sent out to and it looks like it we may not have actually got to the edge of the map or if we are we're on an island because we've got some water here actually out of curiosity we're, there's obviously uh, quite a big patch of water or something along here so we're just gonna let them come out here. I've got a feeling this may actually oops, found a mega rock <laughs> and probably not in the most best place to actually mine it. 
I'm right on top of a mountain. I'm not sure how we'd get up there, but um, I'm not going to waste time doing that. I did have a problem down here. And what I've had to do is build another compost yard over here. Because we were getting problems in this area. Uh, where's the rat man? Yeah. Probably could push you over. Get rid of that rat there. Rat guy. So at the moment, my problem is planks. I've got a rat catcher there that's covering that area. And I'm reluctant to kind of queue up anything else. This is where I'm going to call it for this video. Probably the next one is going to be the last one in the series. But what I'll do is I'll play on to get enough planks so that um, we can do the upgrade to the barn. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.